The UK Z1 appeared to be a very nice smartphone with good battery, attractive design, cool display and not bad hardware. All this made a great job to grab the attention of buyers. In 2016, Lenovo presented two impressive flagships that make a big competition on the market, the UK Z2 and Z2 Pro. Today we will focus on more efficient Z2 Pro. And let's get it started. The smartphone looks really great, here we have a curved glass at the rear, aluminum stained in golden color, edging, a beautiful ring around the camera and very narrow black frame around the display. Magnificent indeed. But don't think that smartphone's beauty affected the quality of manufacturing or overall stiffness. Everything is done perfectly, details are adjusted very precisely and there were no backlash or squeaks during usage. Unlike Xiaomi Mi 5, device doesn't feel like made of clay, but unfortunately the aluminum used here is cheap as well. Soft case and careful use didn't prevent the frame from scratches in several places. One of the two Pro advantages over competitors is an adequate controls topology. All buttons are on their places, but what's interesting is that all interfaces are situated at the bottom of the device, which is not so ordinary. Why is it comfortable? While listening music on your phone with jack at the bottom, when taking it out from your pocket, you will immediately hold the phone in working position. When jack is on top, at first, you have to turn the phone and only then it can be used. For those who can't imagine their life without headphones, it is actually very important. Smartphone ergonomics is different from many 5.2 analogs. It is possible to use it with one hand, especially after a week of intensive usage. But don't forget that the body is slippery. By the way, there is an oleophobic coating on both glass panels, so apparently Samsung has much to learn from the UK. And finally, let's mention the most nimble fingerprint reader in the world. It works spectacularly snappy and failures happen very rarely, which is pretty cool. Moving on to display, here we have 5.2 Super AMOLED Full HD Matrix. Pictures have typical for this technology saturated colors, but it can be modified by enabling natural profile in a display settings menu. This menu also has a simple editor for the color temperature. Viewing angles are great as usual, except for cold color appearance when tilted. Brightness range is also wide enough. It is pleasant to work with smart smartphone under direct sunlight as well as in a dark room. Z2 Pro hardware shows what it calls a flagship. Snapdragon 820 runs at 2.3 GHz with Adreno 530 graphics. 6 GB of RAM will be truly enough for the next 3 years and 128 GB of storage also dedicated for the future. It's pretty convenient and I think many of buyers won't need a new smartphone for at least a year and a half. It may sound strange, but with one of the best hardware on the market, benchmark results of Z2 Pro doesn't wander at all. Anyway, Antutu scores exceeded 100 and I can't call these figures bad. What about real tests? Our favorite World of Tanks at maximum graphics runs almost constantly at 60 FPS. Sometimes it may fall to 45, but just for a few seconds. Other heavy games run without any problem too and owners can fully enjoy the beauty of graphics. The gadget hits as well as an average smartphone on Snapdragon 820. The upper part of its rear gradually hits after long time gaming and a dozen fights in World of tanks will make you feel a real discomfort from hot piece of glass in your hands. Of course, after that throttling comes and performance starts going down. Z2 Pro has 3100 mAh battery, which is one third less compared with the Pilot ZUK Z1. Autonomy doesn't show great results too, as if Z1 could live for two days, Z2 Pro hardly survives a day and a half. Usually you will have to charge it every morning. In addition to the snappy and trouble-free fingerprint reader, Z2 Pro's got nicely done sense sensors of heart rate and oxygen level in blood. There is a special app you health which allows you to work with sensors. It also has an option for measuring UV radiation, but that's all good we can say about this feature. The problem is that UV sensor doesn't work in our phone and there were no solution given on the internet. Let's talk about multimedia and start from the camera. Comparing with the last year's Z1 camera, which wasn't good at all, this one appeared to be much better. Taking photos are very clear and with a minimum noise. HDR mode works fantastic, it allows you to take a macro picture of a flower that sways in the wind, which is not so usual. Video resolution is 4K, the quality is also very decent, but if you change an exposure, typical artifacts might appear. The front camera is good as well, photos are quite nice even in the room with subdued light. Smartphone speaker is not the loudest in the world and it will not replace 
use true music speakers, but it surely comes with its main task. Phone call is audible even in public transport during rush hour. The sound itself is very pleasant and soft. It doesn't hurt ears even at the maximum volume. The sound in headphones has nice quality but unfortunately low volume, without appropriate headroom which you have to increase in equalizer. Sound is detailed, there are no distortion or other crap. Software here is presented by ZUI, a real mockery upon Android by ZUK company. The system has two localization options, English and Chinese. In addition, there are no Google apps and after their installation we still don't see phone book contacts. Perhaps these are two main problems of this remarkable firmware. Overall, the launcher works pretty smooth and steady. Settings are a little different from the usual Android smartphones. Same about notification bar and settings menu which move down and is called separately. In general, it is not hard to get along with an usual launcher, but the problem with Google services can spoil everything. Anyway, buyers of Z2 Pro need to adapt to the native firmware and pray for the well-working Cyanogen. Let's get to results. ZUK Z2 Pro can be bought in the budget modification for 400 bucks and the cost of the top version is 430. In fact, we have a direct OnePlus 3 analog with huge amount of storage, elegant appearance, cool display, ultra-fast fingerprint reader, not bad battery and very swift hardware. If you are not tied to Google services and not afraid of installing the custom ROM, this is definitely your choice. At least you can consider Z2 Pro as alternative to OnePlus 3 and Xiaomi Mi 5. Product links you can find in the description box below. Thank you for watching this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for our channel. See ya!